Okay, dear students. So let us see what is there in this question. An insulated container of negligible mass contains a mass 2m of a liquid. A piece of metal of mass capital M is dropped into the liquid. Temperature of the liquid increases by 10 degrees C and the temperature of the metal decreases by 80 degrees C at the same time. So what is the specific heat capacity of liquid and specific heat capacity of metal? Okay, fine. So in these kind of questions, we know that there is a concept that heat lost by the metal will be equal to the heat gained by water or the liquid. So what will be the heat? Uh, what is the heat gained by the liquid? Let us see. So heat... gained by liquid will be mc delta t now this is the general formula i am writing so what is the mass of the liquid 2m and let us call it c1 the uh, specific heat capacity for liquid and what is delta t it increases by 10 degrees so we are concerned only with uh, the magnitude not with increase or decrease not with that so what is the heat lost so heat lost by metal so that will be again mc delta t but the mass is capital m specific heat will be taken as c2 and the temperature changes by 80 degree for the metal but we are uh, not concerned with increase or decrease okay we, we just need to equate them now we will equate them and we will find the ratio of c1 by c2 because we want the specific heat capacity of liquid to metal. So we want C1 by C2. So it will be 2 into M C1 into 10 is equal to M C2 into 80. So with M and M we cancel out. So C1 by C2 will be equal to 8 divided by 2 that is 4. So our answer is B. So this is how we do it. It's a very simple uh, process. It's a very simple concept of calorimetry. So if any doubt still, please do let me know in my comment section. So this is Professor Varun for you. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel for more such videos. All the best.